Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. I want to show you a special painting technique that I do, but before I show you, we are gonna go on a little field trip. to take you to a couple of stores here in my area and we are going to look at some furniture pieces or some finishes on the furniture pieces and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how I replicate that specific finish. So let's get going. Okay, our first store is Restoration Hardware. This store is beautiful. Their furniture pieces were so large and just inviting. And the employees there, they were so sweet and so nice. They always wanted to make sure that I was okay and if I had any questions. But what I'm showing you right now is a close-up of that grain that we came here to look at. You see that base color and then in that texture, in that grain is the darker color. So that is what we're going to kind of replicate when we get home. Here are some just kind of overall pictures. It is a very beautiful place. I highly encourage you to go and stop by and see what uh, their store has to offer. All right, next up is Pottery Barn. Ta -da! Love this place, but I cannot afford $2,000 on a dresser. However, it is so well made. Look at the dovetail um, aspect of the drawers, and they are so smooth when they go in and out. What I'm showing you right now is the texture. Their pieces are overly textured or texturized, if that is a word. And again, you see that light color, and then in that texture, in that grain, is the darker part. So again, that is what we're going to do when we get home. Now this piece is slightly different, and I want to show you it because it is the same technique that I'm going to show you. It is the lighter color with the glaze on top of it. However, what they did is put a white wax on top as well. So those that white wax is going to settle into those grooves um, that you see or that texture. It is a beautiful and a stunning dining table. I want to take this home, but not for that price. All right, let's head home. <sighs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed mini field trip that we took to Restoration Hardware and to Pottery Barn. And what I wanted to show you was a couple of those furniture pieces, how they looked. However, most of the furniture pieces that I saw there had texture to it. Um, and then the finish was a combo of 
like a top coat and a wax and nothing was very shiny um a lot of things were matte i'm going to show you how to get that same look with using the same technique that i used on that mirror on the last project we did so i actually have another mirror at home that we are going to do that exact same process to and i'm going to show you how to get that restoration pottery barn type of look just by using two kinds of paint one is a paint and one is a glaze so let's get home so i can show you how to do that Okay, now we have to clean our mirror and we are going to sand it. I used Dawn dish soap. Really, you can use anything you want. Simple green, crud cutter, any of those will work. Whatever you do though to clean, you're gonna wanna wipe it off with just some good old fashioned water. So that's what you see me doing right now. I'm just wiping off the mirror, getting all that residue off. Now I wanna protect the mirror. On this particular mirror, there is craft paper on the back and I don't want to remove it. So I just got some copy paper and I'm just kind of tucking it in between the frame and the mirror. If I do make a mess um, and some leach under that copy paper, I can just always clean it off. I'm just taping it down in place right now. And now you see me with a couple of tools. I have a brass wire brush and then a sanding screen. Now you see me using the wire brush and the reason why I'm using this wire brush is because I want to create a tooth on this mirror. In the furniture that we saw, we saw the furniture being very textured and that's what I'm trying to get on this mirror. So I'm using that wire brush to kind of give some little micro teeth or micro grooves into this mirror. So later on when we put the glaze over it, you'll be able to see these little tiny marks and it'll give it a little bit more texture. And I'm just getting rid of the dust by using this little vacuum. That I have on hand. Now next you want to paint a base layer. Supplies that you're going to need is a paintbrush. I love these Zebra um, short handle uh, paintbrushes. You can get them at the hardware store. You are going to need a mister bottle and you're going to need some form of white paint. I'm using Dixie Bell's chalk mineral paint and the color cotton but any kind of white or off-white will do first you're gonna mist your piece and then you're gonna paint on your paint and you're not gonna want a full full coat You're going for that kind of sloppy first coat. And with a wet paper towel, you're just gonna wanna wipe it back lightly. If you feel like you got a lot more off than what you want, you can just go back and brush some on, and then lightly wipe it off. I'm just trying to get in here in that lip 
And if it gets on the mirror, that's all right. We'll scrape it off. Let it dry. After it dries, we're going to glaze. I'm going to use Rust-Oleum's Age Glaze, but you can mix any glaze medium with the paint color of your choice. You're going to want to have some gloves, a brush on hand, and some rags to wipe it off with. Paint it on. You don't have to worry about being perfect. You just want to put it on because we're going to take it off, back off in about ooh, five, ten seconds. Wipe it back. And let it dry. If you feel like you wiped too much of the glaze off, you can always paint it back on and lightly take it off. And here we are, the finished piece. I hope you enjoy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video and our little impromptu field trip. Remember, give a little love tap to that subscribe button, press the like button, comment, and ring the bell notification if you want to know or be notified the next time I post a video. And remember, you can hop over to Instagram and follow me behind the scenes at oak and iron underscore designs. So I hope you guys have a good evening, day, whatever you're having, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. What's out? You want to try to do the outro with me? In your pajama pants? You're not even in the shot. You know what to say? Mm -mm. Say if you like this video, give a little love tap to the subscribe button. Hit the like button and remember to ring the bell notification if you want to have more or something, something. If you like this video, please subscribe. Hit the like button because I love my wife. <laughs> Did I do good? <laughs> 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 no. 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 <laughs> um, okay. I should have wrote this down. You know, I have cue cards. <laughs> You're going to be the person behind the camera with <laughs> the cue cards? Sure. <laughs>